Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the page settings in your Squarespace 7.1 website. There are two different ways that you can reach this page settings menu. And within that menu, we're gonna walk through the general information tab, how to change your SEO settings, how to update a social share image for that particular page. And then we're also gonna take a look at the advanced section, which is where your page header code injection is. Now here we are in my Squarespace 7.1 demo site, and on the left-hand side, I'm gonna to navigate to my Pages menu. Once I'm there, you'll notice I have this gear icon that shows up when I hover over a page. That's one of the first and easiest ways to get to that page settings menu. I'm gonna click on that gear icon and we'll see the menu open up. Now I'm gonna close that to show you the other way to get there. If you're in edit mode, you click this edit button on the top left-hand side of your site preview. Here in edit mode, you'll see that same gear icon on the top right-hand side. Click there and check it out, it's the same menu. So let's go through the general tab together. On this general tab right here, we have the page title. This is what's going to show up at the top of your browser window. You'll see it here on the top left-hand side. Underneath that, we have the navigation title. This, this is the text that's going to show up in the navigation of your Squarespace site. If we change this to new text, you'll notice as soon as we save these changes, I'll select save, this is going to update as soon as I select done and I'm out of edit mode. That new text now appears where it used to say page settings. Let's hop back into that page settings menu using our other way of getting there, clicking that gear icon on the right hand side. That was the navigation title. After that, we have the URL slug. This is what people enter when they go to your website. Think yourwebsite.com forward slash new page. In this example, it says page settings. Here we have enable page. If you wanna make sure that people can't see that page, let's say you're working on a brand new one and you're not ready to show it to the world, just toggle it off and no one's going to be able to navigate to it. I'll go ahead and leave that toggled back on for this particular example. You can also set a password for your page. I've seen different photographers use this if they'd like to showcase a series of images for their clients and wanna make sure that only their clients access that particular page. It's important to note that this password is page specific. You can't make a unique password for every single person that wants to go to that one page. It's one password for one page. Hope that makes sense. Now, if you have a page you love and you want to duplicate it and just change up some content on it, that's right here in the general tab. You select duplicate page. And then this right here is very important. Set is home page. Whatever page you'd like to be the home page of your website, you click that in the general tab on your page settings menu, okay? Great, let's keep going. Now we have the SEO tab next. This is where you're gonna enter the title and the description that's going to show up in search results. If you have a page that you don't want to be indexed by Google or Bing, you can hide it from search results by toggling that off right there. That's going to make sure that your page does not show up in search engine results if someone goes to google.com and searches for something relevant to your page. If so the SEO tab is pretty simple here. Let's hop over to social image, our next option. This is where you can upload an image that you want to be shown on Facebook, for example, when someone shares a link to this particular page. You can be very specific about one image for one page. So again, this shows up on your Facebook feed when someone shares it, a couple of different places as well. Anytime a social network wants to pull an image for your site, this is where it's gonna grab that image. And then after that, we have advanced. Now, if you use custom CSS like I do, and you want to apply custom CSS to an individual page, you can put it here in your page header code injection. I have more training about adding custom code to an individual page. I'll link to that beneath this video, but this is where you'll be entering that code on the advanced tab. It's important to note as of recording this, that's only available for business and commerce plans. So if you're on a personal plan, this advanced tab isn't gonna do much for you. I'll go ahead and select save. We'll hop back out of here and we'll walk through that one more time. Here we are in the main menu. I can select pages and click this gear icon to open up all of those settings. General, this is where you change the title, the URL slug, enable it, add a password, duplicate or homepage, SEO settings right here, title and description, add a social image for sharing on social media, and then add any custom code specific for that individual page, all right? You can also get there in edit mode by selecting edit on the top left-hand side of the site preview and clicking the gear icon on the top right-hand side, exact same menu right here. 
Alrighty, that's it for this quick breakdown. I hope you learned something awesome. If you're watching this video on YouTube, get excited because this is one in a five part video series that I have to help you get started with Squarespace 7.1. They are 100% free and available on my website at insidethesquare.co forward slash training. So head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash training to check out the other four videos in this five part video series. Thank you so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.